Hi everybody, this is John Lortz from DiscoverSkills.com and I'm back today with another how-to video. This time I'm going to talk about the control key and the shift key on your keyboard and how you can use them to select multiple files inside of a folder window. Now, here's the deal. As you work with lists of files in the folder window or even lists of email messages in your favorite email program, there's always going to come a time when you need to select more than one file at a time. Now, before I go on, let me remind you about what selecting is. Selecting means that you click on an item with your mouse so that it becomes highlighted. Uh, we select things in Windows and in other programs so that we can specifically work on those things. In the case of working with your folder window, you select files so that you can copy them or move them or delete them or you know do a lot of other things to them. Now there's always going to come a time when instead of just selecting one item, one file, you're going to want to select more than one so that you can copy, move, or delete a group of them at the same time and usually that saves you some time and effort if you can do that. The easiest way to do that in Windows is by using either the control key or the shift key. First let's take a look at the, uh, at the control key. Now let me pull up a keyboard here. The control key, just to remind you, is located on either side of the space bar. And you can see here on my keyboard graphic that I've got one over on the left and one over on the right. It's duplicated so that either hand can get to it. Also noticed here too, as long as we've got the keyboard up, that your shift key is located on the next line up. But again, it's on either side of the keyboard. Now let's go ahead and pull up a window with some uh, a folder with a window with some files in it. So here we go. Okay, here's a folder window. This one happens to be a picture folder window that I have. Now the first thing to remember is that I can actually use the view feature of this folder window, which I'm using Windows 7 here, so the, the view feature is over in this little menu, the little drop-down menu. And I can change it to whatever makes sense for what I'm doing. And a lot of times when you're using the control key and the shift key to do things, um, it helps to have it in more of a bird's eye view, which in this case would be the list view. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. And you can see now that I see my files more as a list of things, which will make it a little bit easier to select. Okay, but now let's take a look at how the, how the control key actually works. Normally when you select a file, and I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these files here, you can see that it becomes highlighted in blue, but then when I select another file, we'll, we'll go down here a little ways and click again, it selects that file in blue, but the previous file becomes unselected. So normally inside of Windows, you can only select one thing at a time. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key. So I'm holding down control right now. Of course, you can't see that on the screen because you can't see my finger holding the key down, but I am. Okay, I'm holding down control. And now watch what happens as I click on other files. So I'm going to go click and click and click and click and click. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go of the control key. And you can see that even though I do that, the files that I've clicked on, all of these files, and there's six of them here in this case, have all remained selected. Okay, now that we have something selected, let's go ahead and do something with them. And, you know, again, once you have, a, have multiple files selected, it's just like having one selected where you can, you can pretty much do any of the normal file functions, such as in uh, Windows 7, since that's what we're using here, we could go to the Organize dropdown. And we could copy these files, or we could delete them. In fact, let's just go ahead and delete them here. Okay, we'll click on Delete. It comes up and says, are you sure you want to move these six items to the recycle bin? So you can see that we are actually going to be working with all six of the things we had selected. And I go ahead and click Yes here. And there they go. They went to the recycle bin. Okay, so basically when you select using the control key, holding down control, and then you begin to select multiple files. It's just as if you had one selected. You can do all the same kinds of things. And In fact, here's one more example. 
You know how uh, when you're working with your files and folders, you can move files from one folder to another folder. And in our classes, uh, we oftentimes teach you to do that by right-clicking and dragging. Okay, so for example, if I've got these four files selected, and I went ahead and used a control key to do that, then all I have to do to move these or copy these to another folder is go to any one of the selected files, and I'll do that. I'll go to this one here, and now I'm going to start right-clicking and dragging. Now notice what my mouse looks like, and I'll move it over here so you can see it better. It actually, as I hold the right mouse button down and I'm dragging, you can actually see that I've picked up four files. And so I could drag it across to the other side to a folder, and then I could pop it onto a certain folder here and let go. And then, of course, because I right-clicked and drug, I get the menu, the right-click menu, where I can choose to copy, to move, or in this case, I'm just going to cancel and, and pretend that I did it. Okay, so basically you can see that, that once you have used the control key to select multiple files, you can treat those files in all of the normal ways that, uh, that you might want to work with them. Now, there is one thing I want to point out, one danger that you have to sort of be cautious of when you're working with, with the control key. Um, the control key also has a feature where if you have one thing selected, let me go ahead and do that. Now, I'm just going to click on a file. Okay. And you have one thing selected, and if you hold the control key down as you drag that one item, you can see where, where as my mouse is held down here, as I'm dragging this, it says copy to. Holding control down is a quick way to copy something by just simply copying it and dragging it. So if I let go right now, you can see that I have an exact duplicate of this file. Now it's called copy. All right. Now here's the danger. If you use a control key and hold it down, and I'm holding it down now, and I go click and click and click and click, and as I'm clicking and holding control down, if I accidentally click and drag just a little ways and then let go, look what happens. I suddenly have a whole list of copied files. So as you're using the control key to select multiple files, just keep in mind that you want to carefully click and not drag as you click. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up with these copies. Now, it's no big deal because, again, I could use control and go back and select the copies, which is what I'm going to do. And then I could go up to organize and I could choose delete. It says, do you want to delete them? I say yes. And there we go. They're gone. Now, let's take a look at the Shift key. The Shift key works in a similar way as the Control key, but whereas Control lets you select files no matter where they are on the list, the Shift key is used to select a group of files that are contiguous. And so, if, for example, uh, let's say that I want these files right here that I'm moving my mouse over the top of, I could click on the first one, now, I could also go down and I could hold control and I could click multiple times and get all of them here. But here's something that's quicker. As long as these files are all together, I can simply go to the last file, hold down the shift key, which is what I'm doing right now on the keyboard, and then go click and notice what happens. Everything from the first file I clicked on to the last file is selected. So with shift again, you click on your first file, you hold down shift, you click on your last file and everything in between is selected. Once it's selected it works just like the control key did. I can, I can move these, I can copy them, I can delete them as a group, uh, you know, just like we did with the control key. Now there's one final thing that I want to show you about using the control and the shift key to select multiple items. Even though we've been working inside of a folder window with files, let me pop open my email program and I'm going to pop open Outlook here. And the fact of the matter is, is that you can do the same thing with a list of emails or, frankly, you can do it's the same thing with a list of quite a few different things that might appear inside of a window. Uh, in this example, uh, here's a, a list of email messages in a folder. And just like before, if I hold down the control key, I can go click, 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 and I can select multiple files. And you see all those files selected there. I'll click away from them to get rid of the selection. And then if I want to do a group of files with the Shift key, I can do that as well. So I'll click on this first file, hold down the Shift key, 
click on this last file and you can see them all selected. You know, and just like with files, I can then do, um, I, I can apply the same thing to multiple files. So for example, I could drag these over and drop them into an email folder or what a lot of people find this really useful for is of course deleting files. And so I could, I could press delete and delete them all. So I hope you found that helpful and I hope that you'll uh, start giving uh, the control key and the shift key a try as you work with your files. As always, if you would like to learn more or if you'd like to read some of the articles that we have and see some of our other videos, you certainly can visit our website. The website address is www.discoverskills.com. You can also drop me a note at any time. Uh, my email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel for more how-to videos. The address for YouTube is www.youtube.com forward slash discover skills. And while you're there, don't forget to click the thumbs up if you like the video that you watch. Well, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.